friends, I'm Serena and welcome to Church at Home. I'm so glad you're watching Church today because we are talking about someone very special who made us and who loves us so much. It's God! This series is all about remembering that God is real and He has a good plan for us. And that's why our big idea today says, I can trust God because He is real. Are you ready to say that with me? Repeat after me. I can trust God because He is real. Great job! That word trust means we can believe that God will do what He says. One way I know we can trust God is because the Bible says God is always with us. Whether up or down or left or right, God is always by our side. So let's stand on up and let's sing side by side. This song is called Side by Side. It's about how we can follow Jesus and we know that we can always be by his side. So let's start by singing step by step, day by day, you will lead me all the way. Are you guys ready to sing? Let's try it together, here we go. Step by step, day by day, you will lead me all the way. So if you go left Great job, friends. That song reminds us that God is right by our side, so we don't have to be afraid. We can always trust that He is with us. Do you know how I know that? It's because of this book right here. Do you know what this book is? It's the Bible, God's special book for us about real people and places from a long time ago. And there are lots of stories in the Bible that show us we can trust God. Let's watch a story all about someone who trusted God. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Daniel in the Lion's Den. This is Daniel. Oh, hey! Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. 
Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. I hear a lot things. Well, every time. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. Ah, wait. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius hey, excuse me, your majesty. and advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. Wow, I would have felt pretty scared if I was thrown into a den full of hungry lions. But Daniel knew God was real and he trusted him. He believed God would help him. And did God help him? Yes, God shut the lion's mouth and showed Daniel he was real. God had a good plan to keep Daniel safe. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible that tells us God has a good plan. But wait, it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so that we can see our Bible verse? Are you ready? Let's pop some bubbles. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going. Good 
Good job popping bubbles, everyone. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. That Bible verse reminds us that God has a really good plan for us. Let's stand up and sing that Bible verse out together right now. Let's sing our Bible verse together. It's Jeremiah 29, 11, and it says that God has great plans for all of us. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. So let's sing this out. You guys ready? Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Great job. Let's sing it again. For I know. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Let's sing out plans for good. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope whoa, whoa. great job you guys i want to see some really big waves here we go let's sing out jeremiah 29 11. jeremiah 29 11. great job you guys let's sing it all over again for i know for i know the plans i have for you says the lord Good job, you guys. Let's hear it. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Let's sing out plans for good. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Whoa, whoa. Good job. Let's sing it one more time. For I know. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Good job, you guys. Sing it again. Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. One more time. Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. That Bible verse reminds us that God has a good plan for us, and because of that, we can trust Him. Even if something doesn't seem good, we can know that God is real and He has a good plan. Today, we are going to play with our friend Anisha and learn more about what that word trust means. Put on your thinking caps and your listening ears and let's play! Hi friends, I'm Denisha and welcome to Let's Play. Today's big idea is going to help us learn about a very important job. Our big idea is, I can trust God because He is real. Did you know God is real? Yep. We can't see God, but that doesn't mean He is pretend. He is real. We can trust God. That means we can believe He will do what He says. Now, there's someone that you could see almost every day who has an important job. We learn to trust that this person will do their job. Let me give you some clues. They drive a truck that's filled with letters and packages. They stop at homes and drop off these letters and packages. Can you guess who it is? I think you might know. Let's play and find out. Come on. Did you guess it? Yeah, a mail carrier. That's why we're here. Let's go inside and see what our friends are up to. This one? This is what then I'll put this one in. How do you say name? Hi. <laughs> do you have a package, sir? Packages? Where would you like for this to go? Okay. Here? Where is this place? That place is home. You want to deliver a package home? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Where is it? Let's go find it. Okay. We have some packages for you to deliver, sir. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Great job. Watch your head. Delivering the mail is so much fun. <laughs> oh, hey, Flaffrio. Friends, this is my bird friend from Scuppeton, and it looks like he brought his own letter. 
Did you want to play pretend mail carrier too? Aw, oh, fun. <laughs> well, we'll have to deliver this together. It's so cool that there are so many people around the world who deliver the mail to us. They have a very special and important job because they take our letters and packages where they need to go. They do their best to do what they say they'll do, which is why we trust them to deliver our mail. But you know there is someone we can always trust to do whatever he says he'll do? He will never fail to do what he says he'll do. That someone is God. God is big and strong, strong enough to shut a lion's mouth tight. <laughs> it's true. In the Bible, there's a story about a man named Daniel who trusted God. Daniel knew God was real and he prayed to God one, two, three times a day. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den even though he was doing the right thing, but God protected him and shut the lion's mouth. Daniel didn't get hurt at all. Daniel trusted God and we can trust God too. When we feel scared, we can trust God and remember that God promises to help us. God has given us so many good things that remind us we can trust Him. Let me tell you about a few of them. Can you put your hands on your head? When you aren't sure if God is real, you can think about the good things God made. Now, can you laugh? <laughs> when you feel sad, you can think of your friends and family God gave you who love you and make you laugh. Can you clap your hands shut like this? When you're scared, you can remember that your God is big and strong and that He can shut the lion's mouths. Let's all give ourselves a big hug like this. When you feel alone, you can remember that God promises to be with you and love you. Even when you can't see God, you can trust God because He is real. That's our big idea. Will you repeat it after me? I can trust God because He is real. Thanks for playing with us today. I hope you remember that God loves you and that He is real. Now it's time for me and the Flaprio to deliver some mail. I know our friends are trusting that we're going to bring it to them, right? <laughs> well, we'll see you around next time for Let's Play. Bye! That post office was so fun. Mail carriers have a very important job and we trust that they will deliver our mail, rain or shine. Denisha reminded us of someone else who we can trust. It's God. He will always do what he says. We can always trust God because he is real and has a really good plan. Sometimes people let us down, but God never will. So let's talk to God right now. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for always doing what you say. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for your good plans that I can trust. I love you. Amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I have had such a fun time with you learning that we can trust God because He is real. Let's say our big idea one more time. I can trust God because He is real. Ready? One, two, three. I can trust God because He is real. Great job! And friends, don't forget about the brand new Saddleback Kids worship album for you. You can listen to it wherever you stream music. It's called Side by Side. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye!